Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Thursday, August 29th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got some day action, guys. So let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. It helps out the algorithm. All is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as not a lot of waiting around here, guys. 2.15 Eastern time. First game up, San Diego Padres, St. Louis Cardinals. Game four of the series. Pods up two to one in this series. Michael King on the hill for the Friars. Sonny Gray going for the Redbirds. Total of eight, minus 110. That is the Padres as the short road favorite. 76 and 59 on the season. They've been re- they've been playing good baseball overall. They've won five of the last six times Michael King has taken the, the hill here. We're looking to bet on him. We have been a, a, a couple times uh, of recent. He's got a 3-1 ERA, 3-4 fit. 174 strikeouts on the season. And in his last two starts, guys, against the Mets and the Twins, two pretty good lineups, he gave up three hits last time out, just four hits the time before. So uh, he's been really good of recent. And Sonny Gray, kind of the opposite profile. I mean, the first rounder out of Vanderbilt. His full season metrics aren't bad. He started off the year hot, a really good start to the season. But last three starts, he's 0-3. 16 innings, 13 earned runs, giving up six bombs and seven walks. He has not been pitching all that great. And he's up against the San Diego Padres lineup that's number two in all of MLB against righties. So I think this number's short. Actually, there's still a minus 107 out there. Risk 107 to win 100. That's on the Padres here. That's how we're starting it off. Padres over the Cardinals. Next one up, we're heading to mile high here, 310 Eastern time. Miami Marlins, Colorado Rockies, game four of the series. I think we talked each and every game of this one. Valente Belozo on the hill for the fish. Bradley Blaycock going for the Rockies. Minus 120, that's Colorado is the home favorite. 11 in the hook being the total. This is also the game four wraparound game. Colorado is up two to one in the series. And they are 30 and 34 at home, you know, a miserable season for really both of these two teams. But, hey, the Rockies continue, you know, they're plus money at home here. We're going to look to back them. Blaylock, their starter, 36 rounder in 2019 out of high school. You normally don't see that profile. You know, just a 23-year-old rookie already in the show. Obviously, the organization thinks a bunch of them. He's got a three-flat ERA. Actually, even more impressive, guys. He has four starts in Major League Baseball. Two against the Padres, one against the Diamondbacks, and one against the Yankees. In terms of strength of schedule, first four starts, that's as tough as it gets. I mean, those are four, you know, tough lineups to go up against. And he's got a three-flat ERA. That's saying something. And he's going up against the Marlins here. This is going to be the least potent offense he's seen as a major leaguer. I think he's actually going to have a pretty good start here. And Belozo, the the 24-year-old Mexican rookie, the pitcher here for uh, the Marlins, he's he he gave up five walks his last time out, six earned runs against the Cubs, and he made his way up. You know, he's from Mexicali, Mexico. I bring that up because I've actually been paying attention to the Mexican Baseball League. They're actually coming up to the the Mexican series here, their World Series. Um, But the, the reason I'm bringing this up is because Mexicali is right there next to the border south of California. But it's not um, very high elevation, whereas some of these Mexican pitchers, you know, half of their baseball stadiums are like pitching in Coors Field. They're that high up. He he doesn't necessarily check that box. So that's one thing where I think he could actually struggle because, I mean, he's only pitched in in like four four MLB stadiums so far, something like that. And he's never pitched in Coors Field. So that's a fade kind of spot right there and not elevation in his past kind of making his way up. I think that's something that maybe the, you know, at least the market wouldn't be in tune to. So I actually think the Rocks get after him. I like their team total over, and I think 20 cents here on the favorite Colorado. That number's short. So let's go with the Rockies over the Marlins, minus 120. Next one up, 340 Eastern time. Arizona Diamondbacks hosting the New York Mets. Ryan Nelson on the hill for the D-backs. David Peterson, the lefty, going for the Metropolitans. Total of nine. Minus 115, that's the Diamondbacks as the home favorite. I brought this one up because I always go down in my notes and look for pitching matchups. Actually, both of these two starters check the list as bet on or look to bet on them, depending on the matchup. So I'll just read it out here, guys. But it's the Mets, 
winning five straight Peterson starts. He's been money. We've been on a couple of them. The Mets here in their next series, they go to play the Chicago White Sox. This is game three wrap round as well. Interesting note, it's two former Oregon Ducks going at it. David Peterson, the first rounder, 2.8 ERA overall. He's been great. Since early August, 1.4 ERA. He had back-to-back starts against the Padres and the Orioles going seven strong in both of them. He's absolutely bet on. And Nelson here, 22-2 to two strikeout to walk ratio, his last three starts. I think both of these two starters are going to have a, a good outing here. I know it's the Mets and the Diamondbacks. I don't necessarily look to go unders, but we do get a pretty hefty total here. There's nines at a lot of sports books. Actually, some of the leading indicators are down to eight and a hook here. So I'd go sooner or later if you like this breakdown, guys. I'd go Mets, Diamondbacks, listing both pitchers under the nine. Next one up, 210 Eastern time on the south side. The Chicago White Sox, Texas Rangers. Nathan Eovaldi on the hill for the Rangers. Nick Nastrini on the hill for the White Sox. Eight and a half being the total, minus 220. That's the Rangers as the road favorite. Game three wraparound as well. The Texas Rangers have won two straight, won six of nine. And the Chicago White Sox, it's been a little while since we talked the White Sox. 31 and 103. So the first team to 100 losses. I mean, they got a 231 win percentage. I don't remember in my lifetime a team being this bad. Uh, they, they have not been good at all. They've lost six straight. They got Nastrini on the hill here, fourth rounder, 2021 out of UCLA. He's a rookie, and I think he's just filling a ro rotation spot. He's 0-5, 8 ERA, 8 FIP, and a 19-25 to strikeout-to-walk ratio. He's on the wrong side of that. He has more walks than strikeouts. That's not going to last in Major League Baseball. He's up against Eovaldi here. Solid numbers for the Rangers starter. 3-8 ERA, 3-8 FIP, 128-30 to 30 strikeout to walk ratio. The last time he went against the White Sox, it was in uh, late July. He had a 10-0 strikeout to walk ratio in seven innings, only giving up four hits. Like that past performance, guys. I think this is setting up great. The, the Rangers as the road team, minus the run line don't want to lay more than two dollars just kind of not my thing in betting major league baseball so it's uh minus one and a half we're on the rangers on the run line here over the white Sox. next one up we got uh actually the night action here and a reminder hey if you could smash that like button comment below guys anything is welcome throw out any baseball picks football picks it is all uh all gravy as uh, one game left. And uh, also premium picks, wagertalk.com, 5% max limit up and available for the Thursday night slate. All right, possible World Series preview here. So I don't think it checks the box in terms of degenerate special, but it is 10-10 Eastern, 7-10 local time in Dodger Stadium. Baltimore Orioles versus the LA Dodgers. We get Miller on the hill for the Dodgers. Pavich, the lefty, going for the Orioles. Nine in the hook being the total, minus 160. That's the Dodgers as the home favorite. Game three, wraparound game here. Pavich for the O's, 24-year-old rookie, third rounder out of Nebraska. The former court, Cornhusker, in his last road start, he only lasted one inning, giving up eight earned runs against the Oakland A's. So he's taking a step up in class here against the uh, Dodgers in his next road start. By the way, that was his only time pitching on the West Coast here. He's up against Miller, first rounder out of Louisville, 7 5 ERA himself, 16 earned runs in his last 15 innings pitch, giving up 25 hits in those 16 innings. Both of these lineups, you know, top three overall for their full season metrics, both great against the handedness of pitcher they're seeing here. I don't love betting Dodgers games over late at night there. But uh, I, I just think both of these two starters, they get rocked here, guys. So we get nine and a hook over minus 105. So reduced juice there. I think we get to double digits, guys. So late night, West Coast in Los Angeles. We're going up and over the nine and a half, Baltimore, L.A. We also got the Texas Rangers. Nathan Eovaldi as the listed starter on the run line. We got the Mets and the Diamondbacks. We are under nine in that one. We're on the Rockies, minus 120 over the Miami Marlins and the San Diego Padres, minus 107 over the St. Louis Cardinals. That's going to do it for Drew's Daily Diamond. We'll be back on Friday. Until then, hey, smash that like button, comment below, cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in.